This is section four, testing and deployment, video two, called test, test, test again. From the topic's name, you can guess that the main focus of this video will be the importance of testing your A to J guided interviews. Testing isn't just something that happens when you're done with your interview. It's an ongoing process that starts almost as soon as authoring does. In this video, we'll talk about the different times that you'll wanna test your interview and template, how to do it, and why constant testing is best practices for document assembly development. In the first video of section four, we talked about how to exit your end user, but that's not all you need to do to complete your interview. An often neglected but vital part of your interview development process is testing. Testing should happen throughout the authoring process. The two go hand in hand. The first place testing should occur is in the pre-publishing phase. This video is showing you an example where you create a series of questions or logic statements, then you go to preview mode and test them out. You want to make sure that A to J author is doing what you expect it to do. If not, go back and review your logic or branching and try again. Then test again. Another testing opportunity arises when you create questions. Make sure the questions are looking as you expect them to look. No weird spacing or too much information asked for in a single question. Then when you've finished authoring, you should spend a good amount of time testing the different iterations or paths of your interview. Test saying no to one forking question, then go back and answer yes. Does it branch as expected? Does it ask all the questions that it needs to? You can see on this map screenshot that there are multiple ways that an end user can hit certain steps. You wanna make sure that all the paths are accounted for and complete. It's very detrimental to an end user's experience to run into an error that says page does not exist when they're inside the A to J guided interview. Most commonly, this error happens because an author didn't spend enough time testing out all the path iterations. You can create a series of answer files to then test against your templates. In preview mode, you open the debug panel when you've completed the interview, gotten to that exiting button, or at any point in the series of pages that you want to test. You then click save in the top left corner. This will download your answer file to test against the template. I like to create a couple answer files before I start template testing. I have a few standard ones for basic testing too. Ones that have username and maybe birth date or address that I keep saved on my desktop for generic or quick tests as well. Once you have those saved answer files, you can test assemble them against your template, either on the templates tab if you're using an A to J DAT template or in your Hotdocs developer suite if you're using a Hotdocs template. Make sure that answers line up where they're supposed to be and that all the blanks you expect to be filled in are and with the information you expect to be there. This can take a couple rounds of back and forth with making changes, retest assembling, rerunning through the interview. However, testing is hugely important because we as authors know the happy paths through the interviews. Those are the routes that are supposed to work and do work but you need to test all corners and make sure that there aren't dead ends or gaps where your end user might get stuck. This will save you hassle in the long run. The final place for testing is when your interview is live on its host server. The A to J viewer and the A to J DAT that are running inside A to J author are the same as the files used by the hosting servers, but you should still run through your interview several times once it's published. This final check will mimic the experience your end user will have and will give you peace of mind that you've created a quality product. We'll talk more about your hosting options in the next video in this section. Once you've completed your testing in all the ways and in all the places that I've recommended, you're done. You've officially authored an A to J guided interview. Congratulations. In the next video, we'll talk about where to put it now that it's done so that end users can access it.